There's no way. <gasps> it's right outside of the base. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Doc series. This is Dino Overhaul X, the hardcore arc mod. And yesterday, we had our eyes on this Pteranodon. This beautiful, unique, uh, just, just oh, like amazing Pteranodon. And it's just landed on the shoreline. Uh, this thing here was out there in the ocean, just flying around, doing its thing. I had my eyes set on it, but it was nowhere near us. Uh, I need it. I need it. But... I kind of don't want to break the news to myself, but we kind of got to. This guy might have some crazy taming requirements that we don't qualify for, but that's just something I'm going to have to live with in just a second. Guys, before we go any further, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it bring those thumbs ups. And now it's time to probably shed a couple tears. What do we need to tame you, old friend? Please just say I can feed you. Level 85. I'm not a level 85. I'm a long way off a of level 85, but I'm going to try and... No, 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 I wasted too much time. Um, hold on, hold on. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hold on, let me, let me dip on back over here. Um, what I've been up to since the last episode was uh, collecting a lot of berries, getting a lot of narcotics on the way, um, which has been good because uh, I've got a bunch of them crafting in here currently, which is yay. Fantastic. Awesome. Fantastic. But uh, we might need more of them. I don't know how many we're going to need to get our hands on this Tyranodon. I'm going to, I'm just going to old school. I'm not, I'm just going to old school tame it. I, I don't think we're going to be able to um, passive tame this. It's on the ground again. I don't think we're going to be able to passive tame this thing. I think it's going to be a little bit of a bowler KO, which I hope doesn't break it. But um, it's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> we, there's not really much I can do about it. I also didn't craft up any of the arrows that we need. But fingers crossed this does the job. 3, 2, 1. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. If I can get 600 Torpor out of this, we're golden. All right, we've got enough arrows. We've got enough arrows. There's number two. Let's let that sink in. And third and final. He going to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I did not expect you to just appear on my shores today, but I am happy that you have. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, come on. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. No, I'm not happy. I can't. You can't feed it. You can't feed it. Also, it's going to wake up in like three. <gasps> Wait, no. I can't feed it. Wait. What if... All right. Bubs. Sorry. I popped you off my shoulder. I got excited there. I can't tame the thing. It, it is purely a passive tame. I thought maybe it was like going to give me the option and I could do either ways. But no. Ah, oh, well, I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I can't kill it. That thing is just so beautiful and majestic. It would just be wrong to do that. Oh, I'm heartbroken, though. i tell you what. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to keep on pushing on, though. Good thing, though. We got ourselves a bunch of narcotics. We'll put them to use somewhere else. And when we do get the levels, which I'm sure we will soon, we'll come back and take care of business. Now, we got this guy roaming about around our base. Triceratops. What we learned yesterday was these guys kick some serious butts. They're ridiculously quick. Faster than any Triceratops I've seen before. Uh, so we do need to be careful not to, not to attack him. But if we are going to attack him, we got to mean business. We got to tame it. Wait a second. No. I need, like, berry. Hold on. Uh, it, it just occurred to me. It's a passive tame, obviously. It's, it's, a, it's a Triceratops. Um, but I got to be level what? I got to be level 85, man. You know what? I guess we're going on a killing spree today. We just need to get those levels into ourselves as quick as we possibly can. If I find some cool teams along the way, that's going to be great. Um, but I think most importantly, right this second, we just need to get some levels, which uh, certainly are some easier ways to handle. We can just craft a couple rafts and it'll probably give us a ridiculous amount of experience. <laughs> it's the old school method and I've got the hide. Where is it? I've got the hide. I've got plenty of hide. Fiber. We've got, we got a sickle. Dude, I can make this happen, right? Um, where is my sickle though? Wait a second. <gasps> no! Not again! Not again! Get him! Take him down, please! Get that thing out of my base right this second! Did I lose my sickle to a, an itchy thornus or a pegamastax yesterday? I might have. Oh snap! All right, well I guess I'm gonna craft a fresh one. Lucky we got plenty of metal. All right, fresh sickle coming right up. To be honest, we got enough fiber as it is. Um, a little bit of wood. I. Yeah, we, I mean, we'll probably have what we need in no time. So let's go gather a little bit of wood. Hey, wow, whoa. Level 940? Why are you such a high level? 
and fast. Okay. Just the, okay. Uh, hold on. You are ridiculously high level. Where did you even come from? Okay, that's officially the highest level dinosaur that I've seen spawn in this world. I don't think dinosaurs that high should be spawning in this world. That is... That's that's a bit... That's interesting, to say the least. I don't know what it's doing here, but good for it, I suppose. Um, all right, let's craft a raft. Let's see what sort of experience we can get from this. I probably should have done it by the water's edge. That way I could just drop it straight in the water. These things do tend to get quite heavy. But fingers crossed. Oh my goodness, my guy. What are you doing? You just jump scared me. Uh, yeah, we're too heavy. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop it. We've got six levels though, which takes us, uh, I mean, it takes us pretty, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good start, not going to lie. Um, all right. Look, I got the hide. We got the fiber. We got the means to collect more. All I'm really missing right this second is the wood. So, Terrazards, my Charizard looking Pteranodon. You mind just carrying me over here real quick? Where we can just go ham on a couple trees, craft up a couple rafts, and just throw them on the floor. I know. Littering and all that. Dude, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, there's no way. 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 Hold on a second. Is it attacking because it's an alpha? Or is it attacking because it's the Triceratops from yesterday and it's back with a vengeance? In case you don't recall, we attacked a Triceratops yesterday and he was very, very angry. Uh, he like disappeared for a couple minutes and then came back to come and fight us. Um, it's an alpha Triceratops and it has a baby. This... Okay, this might actually give us a, 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 an interesting... Wait! Wait, why has it got a star on its head? Hold on, what? Do you see that? I haven't seen that before. Why has it got a star on its head? It says passive tame on its... What? How? Okay, good for you, mate. Um, You don't have a lot of health. I might be able... Oh, it's going to be tricky. If I can take down this mum, I might be able to take the, the baby. I might be able to. Nah, this thing's whacking me. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, stamina. This Tranodon's done. This Tranodon's gone, mate. No, no, no. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Fly away. Oh, <laughs> with 14 health. I'm so, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I can't survive this thing. Or oh, can I? Or oh, can I? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I've got like such little health. Good thing we... Crafted up some, uh, some, 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 what did we craft up yesterday? Some armor. Has that helped us get across the line? Oh my goodness. We got it. Where did the baby go though? Where did that baby go? Where did that baby run off to? I saw him charge off. Well, I didn't see him charge off, but I know he charged off. I have no idea how neither of us died just then, but I am very glad that we did not. Um... I don't know where he went. Where'd the baby go? I need that baby. And I need it now. An alpha triceratops. Level 20 or not. Oh my goodness. My guy's here. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are you doing? Guys. No. Alfalfa. You silly goose. What are you doing? Why? What? what? Why is why are they so angry? Why are my guys attacking stuff? Well, now I'm kind of stuck. Also... What are you, I whistled passive earlier. All right, Maximus is just on a rampage out here for some reason. Um, all right. Look, this, this I, I, I'm so confused. I don't understand. There's an alpha peg of Mastax causing trouble. Well, get out of here, mate. No, thank you very much. He dropped some pretty sweet stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Are you the one? Are you, the, are you my guy? Are you my guy? Yes. <laughs> yes. We got an alpha. Dude, you just showed up at the right place at the right time. I tell you what. Um, wowzers. I don't even know what's going on right this second, but this has been a crazy start to today. I was expect. Oh, there's my friend. Just, just gloating in the distance that I was unable to tame him up. All right. I don't even know where my squad is right now, but Terrazard is fully healed. Maximus is okay. We got our juvenile Alpha Triceratops, who, unfortunately, I... I don't think I can do much with. Um, I can't I can't care for you just yet, unfortunately, because you're growing up too fast. Um, what, what happened to... Yeah, Alfalfa, rip. 
stinking little alfalfa. And then we got an ordinary old Dilo over here as well. Who, mate, like, 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 where even are you? Just hiding in the rock? Come out of there, buddy. Come out of there. So everybody is all spread out away from home. It's not ideal. It's not what you want to be doing. But in good news, we got some more whoa, superior genetic string. We also got eight of these. 20% vi. What in the world? I thought you were my dilo. I thought you were just my ordinary old dino. Ordinary old dilo. But no, apparently not. Somehow we've still evaded death today. <laughs> we're down to like the... I'm one hit from dead. I'm one hit from dead. I can't believe our Pteranodon. Can't believe Terrazard somehow survived as well. But yeah, that happened too. All right, let's get another raft. The, everything here has just gotten hyper aggressive. Maybe this is part of the mod. Maybe it's unplanned. All I know is it's absolute insanity. In case you don't know, one of the mechanics with this mod is that uh, over time, things start spawning in a higher level, stronger, uh, more dangerous, different dinosaurs. The longer the world exists, the crazier it gets, basically. And I feel like we're sort of starting to see that because um, things are just... I don't even know what they are today, but it's, it's craziness. Um, anyways, we're surviving. We're somehow surviving. Now I'm going to get all my guys back to base, and I'm pretty tempted to get a saddle on this guy over here. I might be able to imprint you. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Sneaks the imprint in just in time and it's fully grown too so what can you do you've got a plus seven and a half damage and damage reduction that's awesome yep that stays traits it's a runner i don't know what that means but interesting uh and then it also has this damage buff and damage reduction and it's fast yeah okay cool i mean that's that's it's pretty sweet um i kind of want to get everybody back home right now we've reached level 58 or do I just keep going with the rafts? Because the rafts actually seem to be kind of working. That's, um... You know what? Let me get a saddle on this guy. If I can. I don't actually know if I can. Maximus. Terrazard. Alpha Triceratops. And last but not least, my ordinary old Dalu. I don't know how you're going to follow me because you seem to be kind of stuck down here. Baby Alpha Dilo too. Wait, I can claim you. Yo, welcome to the team. All right, you can get out of that rock now. Everybody over this way, come back home. I want you all to return to safety right this second. And I need to work out how to get my hands on a Triceratops saddle. I think it's just an ordinary track saddle. Sweet, super affordable, not gonna break the bank. And I only need one of them. I only need one. What are we missing? A Little bit of fiber, a little bit of wood self-explanatory we did kind of just use up all our resources crafting rafts that i do not need so wood check fiber check track saddle a <laughs> check hey look at this little guy you're not the one i just tamed are you would you like to join us why not i can't guarantee your survival oh, oh i tamed up like a little brother and sister i think oh that's cool all right, come on over here, little guy. Join in the family. As I was saying, can't guarantee protection, but um, best of luck to doing your best to survive. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's 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 all I'm gonna say. I can imprint this one with an azulberry. Oh, uh, uh, I don't have any azulberries. One sec, one sec, one sec. Let me just smack this thing here up. I have just also realized. My Triceratops does not feel as fast as it did when it was wild. Uh, so that's a shame. But not the end of the world. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I also got to remember to bring all my guys back. For some reason, they decided not to follow me home. But uh, what am I going to do about that? Let's see what a level 20 Alpha Triceratops can do. Not a lot. That's not a lot of damage at all. <laughs> I do more damage with my own two hands. Um, but hey, I guess berries... Is always nice. Uh, we can also charge. Let's see what a charge looks like. Not very. Did we? Did we not charge? <laughs> that was that was a very lackluster charge, mate. Okay. Ready and go. Yeah! Straight into the parasaur. Didn't even damage it. Just launched him. Is he angry with me? Hold on. It kind of looked like he was aggressive there, and I was like, 
a little confused. Okay. Hmm. Kind of tempting to feed some of this stuff to him to see what it does, but this is just a level 20. <laughs> it's a level 20 trike at the end of the day. It's probably not worth it. Dude, what did you just take? You took my meat. Where are you? Stinking little Pegamastex. Get him, Triceratops. Kick his butt. Show me why I tamed you. No, don't just give up. What are you doing? You got to finish the job, mate. Got to get my meat back. Thank you very much. Hmm. There was like an experience potion here, right? I do have what we need to craft one of these. I'm going to do it. That makes so much sense. I just realized we've got the superior genetic string here. I just need... Oh, hold on a second. Is there like a... Is there a bench to craft this in? Or do I just craft it in my own inventory? Oh, there it is. I need some water. Well, I was trying to craft up one of these a little earlier. So let's go and grab one of these. We'll finish with some water. And then... I don't know. See what an experience potion does for us. Um, fill it up. Okay. Get us this, I don't know, large quantity of experience. See what level this gets us to. This this could be this could be a good little a good little boost to our well yeah to our to our levels, which is exactly what we need right this second. Right, I'm gonna sit right between the trees because I want to be able to maximize this thing's utilities. And uh, without further... Oh, we got two of them too! Nice! Oh, wait a second. It's not a... It's not an overtime buff. It's just a straight injection of experience. Okay. And it didn't really give us that much. Gave us a couple of levels, but not a whole lot. So I may as well just drink them both. Get another two levels. We got six levels. We are now at level 64. I can get flak armor. Great! Um, first things first. Let me get some weight. May movement speed. Probably going to need some of that as well. But yeah, we, we can we can we can upgrade our armor now. Straight to flag, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna need that. It's gonna Well yeah, we're not gonna be able to survive very long without it, basically. But fantastic. Okay, alright. Uh still not high enough level to passive tame a lot of dinosaurs, because we gotta be like level 85 for that. But not bad anyways. Alright. <laughs> I just went and mowed down a bunch of trees. Um we now have enough resources, I think, to get four more rafts. This might give us quite an injection of experience. And I can't wait to see how good it is. I'm going to check a level into fortitude. Now, let's see how far these four take us. All right. Three levels total. So basically, we got like a level from each and then not a level from the last one. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of rafts if we're going to make that work, aren't we? Uh, which isn't ideal. But for now, let's go and put these levels somewhere. Stamina might come in handy for the time being. And then maybe some more fortitude just to, I don't know, keep us going a little bit longer. I think, though, we're certainly going to have to turn our attention to killing dinosaurs to get these levels. I think that's, it seems to be, also, why are you guys not following me, man? I think that's definitely going to be the, the, the boost that we need. Um, we just got to make it happen as quick as we can, I think. Why are these guys not following me? My guys. Did I upset you or something? Or are you like just a little bit like janked up on the floor over here? Is it like confusing us? I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know why nobody's following me home. All right. Now you want to. All right. Now, now it's coming. Now they're coming. Fantastic. All right. Yep. Don't know what the story was there, but it is what it is. Ooh, level 40 unique Tyranodon. It's a low level, but it is a unique. And from what I understand, uniques are better than just, I don't know, base tier, I suppose. Um, plus, it gives me a bit of an idea. Let me actually see. What do I need to tame a unique? Nothing. I can tame it right this second if I want to. But, you know, it's not that much better than Terrazard over here, is it? Well, since we have access to it, and I'm pretty sure we got plenty of metal for it, we may as well go and upgrade our armor. Oh, set of flak coming right up. And honestly, I think what we're going to have to do soon is get an upgrade station, get our little upgrade bench thing, 
And um, I don't know, I pump some extra levels into this stuff. I don't think it's going to break anything, um, but it's going to come in. It's going to come in handy. 100% going to come in handy. Now, is there anything else? Just checking if there's any like modded items that we might have missed during all of our leveling up since we've done so much of it, but likely not. Um, Dox is usually more loot based when you kill stuff. You have to kill stuff to get the loot, which I guess is where we're getting all this. Um, I'm just going to dump the rest of the armor. It's where we're unlocking the genetic strings and the, the potions and stuff that we are slowly getting our hands on. We're also getting, uh, we'd like some of this too, wouldn't we? Pygmy kibble. Stand within five meters of any wild pygmy and it will attempt to tame from pygmy kibble in your item slot. Um, two required for a tame attempt. I don't... Well, do pygmies show up in here? Or are they more like... It doesn't look like it. They exist, I assume. But they're not showing up on my, my, my list of dinosaurs. So maybe they're like a random type of spawn that just doesn't show up by default. Either ways, I do think we gotta go like looking for them. Also, thanks for the eggs, my guy. Four Dilo eggs, fantastic. We can use that for some, oh, we can use that for kibble. Um, What type of kibble? I'm uncertain. Can I use that for simple kibble? Cause I, I, I do need kibble to do some taming soon. You know, as soon as we gain a level 740 now. Okay, that's ridiculous. But that is like something I could I could definitely work with. That I don't know why we're getting such high level creatures every now and then. This might be that hole the world has existed for long enough to start spawning in some high level creatures. I'm not sure. But that's that's ridiculous. Well, that's not ideal. Oh man. A dialogue just ran into my base and I killed one of our little dialos. I don't know which one it was. It might have killed both of them, actually. <laughs> uh, we seem to be missing... Yeah, no, it killed the female. So we may have pulled a few eggs, but uh, that's all the eggs we're going to be getting for the time being, unfortunately. What I'm thinking... Oh, gosh. More tracks. Uh, what I'm thinking is... Let's test out these mystery potions. I don't, can't even remember what we killed to get these, but we've got them, and all it says is that it, when we drink them, something's going to happen. I don't know if it makes us extra strong, extra durable, untouchable. Uh, these things are craftable and it hurts me that I'm about to waste them. But fingers crossed, we actually get something pretty sweet from it. So uh, let's consume one. And uh, stamina cost reduction. Okay. <laughs> so it gives us like a buff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Temporary. Um, but uh, there's something else down the bottom of the screen there. It says danger megas roaming i don't know what a mega looks like or what makes it stand out from the rest but uh then we got a mega nearby and that's kind of terrifying um i don't know what to actually do i don't i don't know how do you even find it what, what does that mean i have no clue i i don't know what that means ah uh, look I'm gonna... I don't know what to do. I actually have no clue what to do right here. Uh, look, I, it, it doesn't seem like there's any Megas directly nearby. If there are some nearby, I'm hoping they're like on the other side of this rock. Or I'm hoping that warning just pops up at the bottom of the screen. Um, you know, just, just a massive warning of a massive area radius. Not that there's one right next door to our base currently. Uh, so I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. Hey, more levels. Perfect. The only downside is uh, that's all we're going to be able to craft for the time being. I've run out of hide, but we officially have a raft on water. So that's a little bit of a win in and of itself. Um, in fact, we got two rafts on the water. Yeah, they're not completely getting wasted now. I guess from here on, we're going to start crafting something a little bit different. Um, at least to get like bulk experience at first. So let's get a few foundations while we're at it. And I'm going to go for a little bit of a sale just to do a little bit of a shoreline sale just to just to see what's around. Um, see if we can spot a mega, perhaps. Although if the megas in this mod are anything like they were back on, um, you know, Ark Survival Evolved, uh, we, we should probably avoid them at all costs. <laughs> but we should be able to spot it from quite a distance away because 
well, Megas kind of, they kind of stand out. They're usually pretty big. They're usually pretty destructive. They're not ordinary looking creatures. I just saw a little red glowy thing, but we've seen red glowy dialogues before and they definitely weren't Megas. Um, unless it is. I don't think it is though. Basically, I just want a surefire safe way of just doing a little bit of exploring out of the base. That's a level 300 Pteranodon. I mean, right now, my my limitation is that our Pteranodon is a level 40 and it runs out of stamina way too easily. So, a level 300, if I could passive tame it, would be pretty darn handy. I tell you what. Also, I didn't realize how many little peninsulas there are, like, jutting out of this area. The raft mode of travel it really isn't very effective unless we go all the way around. And it doesn't look like there's a way for me to cut through here. So um, I probably should have gone all the way around. Oh, well, let's go by foot. Oh, no. Hey, what's that guy doing? Did you see that? The trike was just like having a little bit of a... Wait, hold on. It's an alpha. Is he going to try and attack me? Oh, it's going to start on his head. I don't know what that means. It's so confusing. Is that good or bad? Because like, and he's got a little sparkle. Like I tamed one of the babies from these guys earlier, but I don't remember the parent having a big star on its head. So this is, it's, it's obviously not a mega. I don't think it'll attack me. Will you? I have to be level 90 to feed it though. That's the disappointing part. If I could get some kibble, I could probably tame it pretty quick too. We've got those Dilo eggs, which we might be able to use, but we don't have the levels. Oh, great. Oh, great. Fantastic. I just lost another 115 narcotics. Look, I, I knew that we might have been headed into some trouble coming out here, but I didn't think it was going to be an itchy thornus. That did it. All right, I, I actually need to get out of here now because... You've taken everything valuable to me. If you take anything more, uh, we might actually be in a little bit of trouble. So, I hate you. I hate you, Seagull. I really do. Well, that didn't take long. For my raft to tip over on its side. What are you even doing? I don't know why my rafts do this, but they did in my previous uh, world as well. And it made no sense to me. Well, we can take moss jobs now, so that's cool. But uh, we don't have any raw prime fish meat, so I guess we kind of also can't tame them, unfortunately. I can tame a level 740 Triceratops, though. <gasps> I just need medjo berries. Um, that is going to be a long tame, though. There's no way I'm going to tame this. I'm not going to feed him 190 berries, right? We're going to need some kibble to make this happen. Yeah, not 190. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. 15 simple kibble though. Even that might be a little bit wrong. Hmm. Either ways, we've initiated the tame. It means he's now, well, we're just going to kind of leave him to get hungry. And I might be able to tame that. It is just a Triceratops, but a level 740 Triceratops? That is uh, something of interest. All right. I've been busy. I've been busy. Have a look at this. We have a total now of 81 foundations amongst a bunch of other leveling. I finally done it though. We finally, finally, finally qualify for level 85, which after a little bit of studying up, let me just allocate these levels real quick. Um, turns out that 85 is the maximum level for taming dinosaurs. So basically long story short, um, cause there is a bit of a guide that you can read into how these things work. When it comes to passive taming herbivores, uh, the, 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 the feed level that you need to be is half the level of what you're trying to tame. So for example, this unique parasaur, I would need to be level 70 to feed it, um, which we are. So I can feed this if I really wanted to, and I can get myself a very high level unique parasaur. Uh, there is also, yeah, I mean, you don't really need to go providing multiple examples, but that caps out at well 120 we're not level 120 sorry sorry 70 that one's 70 but if it goes beyond that so this guy here 170 we're not level 170 it caps out at level 85 so right now i'm pretty sure any sort of herbivore low level creatures i should be able to passive tame uh so 
Let's go and put it to the test, finally, at last. Also, one thing that I've completely been forgetting to craft up is the uh, grapple gun. So we can actually do some grappling. That'd be fantastic. Uh, one second. Let's get that prior meat, though. And... Terrazard, come with me, friend. Was somebody... Did you have a compy nibbling at your toes or something? I'm not sure, but... Dang it. <laughs> come back down here, please. I got some prime meat for you. I didn't even know. I might be able to just slip one or two of them into you. And we can get ourselves a unique Teratodon. But I timed that really terribly, didn't I? He was on the ground. He was ready to be fed. And then he decided to go and take up off to the skies. All right. I'll give him a second. I'm sure he'll come down soon. I've said those words before and then been waiting for 10 minutes. But hopefully that's not the case this time around. There is also a level 300 one just over here. Is it a regular or is it a unique? Oh, it's just a regular Pteranodon though. All right. Nah, I may as well stick to this guy since he is unique. I don't know. I think unique just means they're a little bit better. I'm actually not entirely sure. But buddy, I want to tame ya. All right, our time to shine. Let's go. No time to waste. There's one piece exactly 50% taming effectiveness. Okay. Um, how long is that? Well, not effectiveness. Taming bar, whatever you want to call it. It's halfway tamed. I don't know. I've never seen the exact number like that. That's actually ridiculous. Uh, but hopefully... I was going to say hopefully we didn't have to wait too long to give it another piece. It may not be the Pteranodon that I set out to tame or set my dreams on, but it might actually be better. I don't know. I'm not sure what's better out of a unique or an alpha, but, um... This guy, this guy's gonna do just fine, I think. Excuse me over here, little compies. How mighty rude of you all. It kind of just occurred to me too. I, um, I should probably just tame them both. Like, why not, right? This guy's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes, 37%. Okay, you're gonna take three pieces. My guy out there is still just twiddling his thumbs, flapping around, doing his thing. <gasps> and then I forgot Alpha Triceratops over here. This guy's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Um, wouldn't mind it. Don't have the kibble to make it happen just yet. But we do officially have the levels. So, alpha tames of, you know, strong varieties. I feel like are just on the horizon. Oh, it's finally ready to eat. Let's go. There you go, mate. And we've got ourselves a unique pteranodon. A much higher level than old Terrazard over here. But you'll always be my first mate. My little level of 47 friend. And if the first one was hungry, then... No, this guy's not ready yet. It, the, the spyglass actually tells me when they're hungry. And this guy ain't, ain't it just yet. I thought I just saw this guy stomping around. Sorry, I got a little bit concerned there for a second. Um, you know what? I'll come back for you. But now, let's go and saddle up our new friend. Is he alright? Sorry, I keep hearing noises. And I just get so... I get so worried when I do, when I hear a dinosaur doing something uncharacteristic. You gotta, you gotta be, live, live on the edge just a little bit. Just in case. You just never know what's gonna happen. But thank you for that saddle. Get it on here. And actually, let's just have a look at the stat difference. We've got 400 health, 960. So about two and a half the amount. And our friend here is a brawler and a tough. Um, I don't know the difference, but we've got extra damage. Uh, damage reduction is a bit average and pretty slow as a matter of fact but i assume brawler means it's probably got something to do with health or something like that what i can do is feed this superior genetic string i think it gives it an extra buff so let's find out it does um artificial trait absorbed and it gave it extra speed it made it a runner so we've got a brawler tough and a runner cool I don't know what the next step is, but we're going to just keep on working on things from here and we'll see what happens. It actually feels quite quick, to be honest. You feel that a little bit of a... I know it's only like a 2% speed boost, but it, it feels like it's noticeable. Anyways, <laughs> we got ourselves our unique Pteranodon that we wanted. I'm pretty happy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. I just did a poop. Um, and I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one very, very soon. Bye. Bye.